Hi, hi everyone, it's Lilas and welcome to my channel. My channel is all about cosplay. I teach you tutorials on how to do the makeup, how to make the outfit so you can become the character of your dreams. Today I'm showing you a requested video on how to do Marianne's hair for yourself and everyday use. This is kind of a simple little everyday cosplay thing and fun to do with your hair, especially if you have little girls who want to just have something different for a change. Now I am using a bang clip. You don't have to have bangs to have this tutorial. Also, a very big important thing is that you must know how to French braid. You'll see me French braid in this tutorial twice, one on my left side and then one on my right side. So to do this hair tutorial, you'll definitely need hair pins, rubber bands like these small ones. Definitely have a brush to help detangle whenever you're braiding. A hair clip, optional but not necessary, is dry shampoo. I didn't bother curling these. You can if you want because she has like little curly tendrils. Before attempting this tutorial, make sure you know how to braid and French braid. This is a very easy tutorial in my opinion. It's not too hard and I hope if you have any questions, you'll leave them down below in a comment. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss out on any future cosplay content. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. As a disclaimer, I have slightly dirty hair. I haven't washed my hair in like a few days, only because of the quarantine. Now make sure you brush out your hair, and if you need to, use some dry shampoo to get all the oils out. This will actually help thicken your braids. Work it from your scalp all the way down to the ends of your hair. I'm going to get a pointy object to help me split my hair in half. I don't have a comb on me, so I'm just going to use this pencil. I'm going to work my way from the middle spiral of my head and work my way to the front part of my bangs. I'm going to make sure I do this over and over until I have the perfect adjustment for my hairline. Once you're satisfied with the front, go ahead and work your way down the back. Take your time with this and keep your pencil or comb as steady as possible. When you're happy with that, go ahead and section off your hair into two pieces. Make sure you have some rubber bands for this part. Now go in between one of your little pieces on the front side of your hair. Don't grab any of your bangs or the back side completely middle and isolate this piece. What you want to do is create this into a very nice braid that will go around as the headband. Add some dry shampoo, this way it'll have a nice braid hold and start braiding it towards the other side of your pigtail. This is going to feel really weird braiding it around the front side of your hair, but just trust me, take your time. And it's okay if this is a loose braid, you kind of want it to be loose, but if you need to, go ahead and make it tight if that's how you normally braid. I'll show you a technique as soon as you're done braiding this. Once you get all the way down to the bottom of your hair, go ahead and secure it with a rubber band. Now time for my ultimate technique. It's just pulling your braid slightly apart and making your braid thus wider so it's not so small. This is actually going to be able to help you show off the braid and just have one of them versus doing multiples and taking tons of time. See? Now it's nice and thick. Go ahead and secure down your braid with the hair clip. Now separate out your bangs if you want to have bangs. And now go ahead and start grabbing your pieces to start your French braid. You want this to go ahead and envelop that first part braid. Make sure to brush it out just in case. I wanna make sure that this side's really tight so it doesn't get stuck. I just realized that. Okay, so go ahead and grab that section of hair again and then you're going to start French braiding it. French braiding is basically braiding and adding hair on each side when you have to loop it over. You're going to French braid it all the way down to the nape of your neck. And slowly picking up hair from both sides will cause you to French braid. That's the best way I can do it, and I don't think I can show you any better than where I'm at right now. But this is why I said you must know how to French braid before attempting this tutorial. But you can see how I'm trying, and it's just one person. Once you get past your nape and you're done French braiding, go ahead and braid it all the way down to the ends of your hair. And then secure it with a rubber band, again. I'm going to slightly loosen the bottom parts of my braid. I don't want to do it too much, otherwise it's going to lose the integrity and shape. 
Now I'm going to start twisting my little braid end a lot and then tuck it underneath that bottom part of the braid at the neck. This way it's going to hide the rest of it and then I'm going to pin it in place with tons of pins. So when I pulled it out and made it a looser braid, it creates kind of like a pocket. You want to put your hair inside that. Make sure to pin it down a lot so it doesn't pop out. It's totally okay if your braid is a little bit messy. Marianne's hair before the five years, it's totally a little bit unkempt. So as pretty as you can make it, that's perfectly fine. If you're doing it by yourself like me, this is what it ends up looking like. Now time to start the other side and repeat the same process, sort of. Now that we have the end tail of the braid, we wanna take that out and make sure we position it where we want it to be. So we're gonna leave the braid come out on top of our bangs just a little and position it in place and hold it there with that little clip again. I'm gonna clip it to the bangs just cause it's easier. So now to keep this in place how we want it, I'm gonna incorporate this into the front braid now. This is going to be part of that middle piece. So go ahead and pick up your strands of hair to create your French braid. Slowly begin French braiding down the back side of your head all the way to your neck just like the first time. But this time make sure to include that braided hair piece. Right here you'll see that I accidentally pulled on the other side of the braid while trying to gather a hair for this braid. So I actually have to go back and fix that. But I just continued on working on this braid, making it as perfect as possible going all the way down. Now that I've surpassed my neck part, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at how my braid looks. And now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to take that clip out and that the top braid is perfectly in place. I'm going to finish braiding the bottom part of this front braid and secure it. Now that it's nice and secure, I'm going to once again twist it all the way up and push it inside that part of the front braid. You can do a number of things. I just kind of like sonic rolled it and put it inside. This is kind of like the best technique that I've done, honestly. So if you want to go full on cosplay of this, go ahead and grab a bang clip. My bangs need a little TLC, so I'm going to brush them out nicely. I'm going to move my little braid back and secure it down with my clip. I'm going to find the center of my bang clip and slowly put it into place. There's three clips on my bang clip and I'm going to make sure that they fit all appropriately onto my area that I want it to be. Now I'm taking my clip out, holding my little bangs and slowly letting it dry, drip, <laughs> dry, drip, fall on top of the bang clip, making it more natural. Readjust your bangs if necessary because I think mine need a little bit of help. I'm redoing this side because I definitely didn't like how it looked after I had tugged on it from this side. So I'm rebreeding it so you guys can see what it properly looks like when I don't screw up. And then of course just finish off by using a rubber band, hearing my dog snort. He's snorting really hard. Oh, he's growling. Alright, tie it off and then make sure to pull it just slightly, I to go hard, just slightly. And now we're gonna just pin it underneath. Obviously you could braid this part back in, so then it would look more like this. enjoyed this quick hair tutorial. I don't really do a lot of these often. 
I actually haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while, so if you have any recommendations on which characters you would like me to attempt and try out, leave them in a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video and will try doing it, make sure to push that like button, subscribe for more content, check out some of my other videos, and remember to stay inspired, be creative, and I will see you in a future video. Bye!